Uh, long trip again, coming up on, on Tuesday night to uh, to Blackpool. Will you be looking to maybe shuffle things around a bit, give you know, and give a few players a rest for this um, one? I'm going to have a look at that um, because I'm not quite sure. Is it the seventh game that ever, if somebody played the eighth? The eighth game. So mm. that's eight games in the first month. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Whoever puts these fixtures together, I, I do not know. But anyway, you got to play the game. So we'll see. I'll, I'll let them have. Sunday off, uh, so they can go to church, and uh, and then on Monday I'll bring them in, and I'll I'll know from their faces and their training which ones have uh, got another long trip and a game at the end of it. Some of them are okay with that, and others it, it's an energy sapper, long journeys, and especially eight games in four weeks or something. I know I keep mentioning that, but um, so I'm sure I'll use some of the others in the squad. But you can't use them all anyway because you've got to play okay. five, haven't you? Or something like that. Yeah, you've got the rules, I think it's five of your previous team. Yeah. So. Talking of rules, who made the rule up <laughs> that all of a sudden, like a week ago, whatever it is, a few days ago, all of a sudden it's not a first team fixture, yeah. right? And then all of a sudden Stoz can play, and then we get a message Stoz can't play because that don't count. Although the bookings don't count now because the Premier League size don't want it to count. Um, but it does count for Stoz because, you know, it don't count as a, a game against his band. I don't, I don't know how that how It doesn't that count it. as a game against his band. No, no, what he... he it's, it's we part thought of he could it's play, part of it's now part of the band. Oh, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So now he's got nine games instead of eight. Whereas, oh, that's all right. You know, <laughs> it, uh, it, always, it always fascinates me how people come up with these things, but... Uh, Nobody ever rings me up and says, this is what we did and why we did it. So I can go, oh yeah, okay, I appreciate you telling me. But anyway. But the competition itself, you know, you've got these three group games to try and try and get through. How are you approaching the competition as a whole? Is it is it something that you want to embrace? Is it something that you want to... Well, you want to, you, listen, you don't want to go all the way out to Blackpool and just turn up and let them roll you over. You know, you want to, every game you go into, you've got to be competitive in, that's for sure. So... I've never been into a game where I've not been competitive, you know, so, um, and that's what we, we, we want to do. And it's, you know, if you win the three games and you get through, then all of a sudden you've you got Wembley on the horizon. Is it Wembley? Yeah. Was it the Czech trade trophy? Trade trophy. Yeah, well, there you go. So I'd say with your teeth, <laughs> <isn't> it? <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, so yeah. It, it, who knows? So we, we're going to try and win each game. We do see it as an important game, but it, it's also important to make sure the squad um, gets gets games. But you can try combinations and systems yeah. if you want to. Yeah, yeah, no, you can. Um, but I don't want to go against what we're doing at the moment because you know if it's not broken, then don't try and mend it. But also it's momentum as well, isn't it? it you've momentum. come off you've come off a good performance yeah. in Newcastle, good performance against Crew with the exactly. first win. Just keep that going. Exactly. And when I need an assistant, I'll give you a call. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I take it all the lone players are eligible to, to play. There's no problem with the clubs. Uh, just the one. No, just the one, Russ Griffiths. Okay. Um, I think Everton probably feel that uh, he couldn't play against us anyway. They wouldn't allow mm -hmm. that because he's in there in our division. And uh, he's done great for us. And we're really pleased that we got him. So it gives us a chance to, to play Keller. And, and he won't let us down. Mm -hmm. It gives Russ a bit of a chance for a rest, so I think Everton must feel that they're gonna they got a chance of winning it. Um, <laughs> but uh, listen, we can't moan at them because you know we've we found an excellent goalkeeper there. New format this year with the, the three group games and and penalties at the end of it. If it's a draw, is is that something you're gonna look at and maybe uh, maybe practice? Well, it's very. People always say it's hard to practice penalties because you, you can't ever reciprocate the atmosphere or the the pressure. But um, listen, if it goes that far, then you know, we, of course, we will always practice penalties if there's a penalty ending. Because if you get that far, you don't want to come all the way from Blackpool having lost on penalties. Do you know what I mean? So we will we will look at it and. Uh, whether I've got five penalty takers, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on Monday. Just on Cadden, he's been quite patient waiting. This will be his first yeah. competitive start. It, it, is it nice to, to be able to reward someone yeah, like that for that patience? I, I, I think so. It is nice to reward someone's patience. And he really is. And he works so hard as well with the goalkeepers. But he's just been so unlucky that both the goalies we've had in Dylan and, and Russell have been 
top quality goalkeepers and are going to go on to play in not just the championship probably but the premiership you know so and I'm always pleased to, to help them along now Callum came from a different area from non-league England C and all that but uh, you know he's getting that gaining that experience he sees the, the, the how good the goalkeepers are and he's got to be learning and taking experience from working with you know two top goalkeepers and hopefully he'll be a top goalkeeper when he gets the opportunity. Does that mean Reese will come in and come onto the bench? Well yeah I'll have to talk to his side that he, he, he's got but I think I think we could possibly bring him back and then Monday, so. yeah play, he'd play Monday and then we could bring him back and then loan him out again I think but between now and Monday, they'll probably have changed the rule. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, just going to, well, uh, on Monacana, in an ideal world, would he be playing on Tuesday if you can get in that In an one ideal through? world, yeah. Um, but uh, as I say, when you're dealing with you know, foreign lands, it's not always easy to get international clearance. We all find that because there's always people that pop up that, that say that they want to be involved in there, this, that and the other. And, um, Anyway, yeah, I've got a Latvian fixer that can sort things out in Romania. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have, but I, <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> Cheers, Gary.